For today's painting, I'm going to be recreating an old piece I painted about a year ago. This here is the original painting. This piece was painted on Canson XL paper, but today I'm going to be using Arches paper instead. I'm going to begin the painting by focusing on the face, because that's where most of the details will be. Here I'm using a light wash of Payne's Gray with a round Princeton brush. Using the same brush with a more saturated amount of paint scurry, I'm going to outline around the beak. After I create the outline, I'm going to take a larger round brush. I'm going to dip this brush only in water to create a gradient. While completing the beak, you'll notice me go back and forth between these two brushes. I believe the sizes are a 3 over 0 and a number 3 brush. While painting black subjects, I often like to combine different colors, such as blue, green, and purple. This will help create depth. For the eye here, I'm going to add a light layer of brown paint and then let it dry. Now I'm going back into the eye with the second layer of brown paint. This will help make the eye look more realistic. After creating a thin outline with a smaller brush, I'm going to go in with a wash. Creating the outline first helps make sure your wash stays within the lines. For the wash, I'm going to be using a mixture of colors. These colors are a gray, a blue, a green, and a purple. This part of the magpie is white, but in order to convey shadows, I'm going to add brown and gray paint. For this part of the painting, I'm going to intentionally create watercolor blooms. In order to do this, you'll take a clean brush, dip it in water, and then dab it onto your painting. You want to make sure the paint on your paper is still a little damp while you do this. For even more texture, I'm be adding a sprinkle of table salt.
Here I'm creating an outline before I make a wash. Here I'm using a brush to create feathers. Lastly, I'm going to add salt to this wash before it dries. Now I'm going to be adding some watercolor splotches with a paintbrush. I'm also going to be creating an intentional drip. I'm going to choose where the drip goes with my paintbrush. I am then going to tip my paper at an angle and add extra water to the spot. Here I am tapping the paper to encourage my drip to form. Quickly decrease the angle to stop the drip from running. Then to create small splatters, I'm going to flick my paintbrush on the paper. All I have left now is the tail. For this, I'm going to be using a number 12 round brush. Here I'm adding a couple extra details and then the painting is complete. Thank you so much for watching me as I paint this magpie. It is so interesting to see how different it turned out from the original. If you enjoy watching my paintings, please consider following me on Instagram at painted underscore wing or even supporting me on Patreon.